Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So it really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. So um, if you do have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. You can find contact list of readings right below into the YouTube description box. So please do not hesitate. It will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed and you do enjoy the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And it is always and greatly appreciated. I would also like, right before we do begin, to thank, first of all, all of my beautiful subscribers. I do thank you so very much for being there, for listening, for commenting, for being a part of the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. I thank you so very much. I would also like to take a brief moment to thank all the subscribers who have donated so generously to the channel. I do thank you so very much. Always very grateful. Thank you. That being said, let's begin this reading. These are messages coming from um, Spirit. There are warnings and there are messages. So some are warnings, some are messages. Let's begin. I have four messages. You take what's good. You leave the rest aside. We are going to begin with some Stardust Angel. We're going to follow it through with Mermaid, Mother and Child. We also have My Tentacled Friend and a Mermaid with a Black sea serpent. Let's start this off with stardust angel. Now we all have someone in our lives that we can look to as a role model because this message here, the main message coming from spirit with this card is to follow your guiding star. So there's somebody out there, there's somebody who can guide you in times of trouble or maybe even times of uncertainty. Now is just such a time and it is very much in your best interest to turn to this person right now or to follow his or her example perhaps. Their wisdom, their good sense, their strong moral compass, they are precisely what you need to get your own life back on track onto the preferred track. Let's move on over to your following message over here. So you do need to find that very trustworthy trustworthy person, that person who's going to be able to help you out to follow your guiding star. Following with a mermaid, mother and child. Now this is about to heed to maternal advice. You need to be attentive right now to advice from a trusted, and I would say an elder family member. A maternal figure from maybe an older generation has much wisdom to offer you whenever you do need it most. What you need to do is you need to be humble. Now is the time to listen. It is the time spirit would like you to absorb. Now you may not hear what it is that you want to hear, but you need to rest assured that you will hear what you need to hear. So you need to listen with an open mind and with assurance that all those years of experiences that lie behind those words of wisdom that you are going to be receiving. Be receptive to all the many venues that are open to you. Let's not lock anyone down. Let's keep all those barriers down and let's stay open. The advice, it may come in the form of a personal visit. It could be an unexpected call. It could be many different forms of communication that are open right now for you to receive these messages. And while you should be responsive, do not actively pursue the advice though. It must come unbidden uh, if it is to be sincere. Let's move on over. We have my tentacled friend. This is about reclaiming your overextended self. Now, you've become, uh, spirit finds that you've become maybe a little bit overextended. Maybe like an octopus who has kind of stretched, you know, his arms out in different type of directions. This overextension 
is starting to leave you a little bit weak perhaps. Maybe even a little bit vulnerable. It is time to reduce your obligations. It's time for you to draw inward for a time. You need to decide upon your highest priorities right now. You need to release those duties that are no longer aiding you. Or that maybe are not quite as important as they used to be. You need to reclaim the parts of yourself, both mentally, physically, because they're being improperly used right now. And you need to let them rest for a little bit, for a little time. And when you're feeling stronger, you need to put them back to use, but constructively, if you see the need to. But do not let yourself get so overburdened again. You need to always keep an arm in reserve for a surprise task that is near and that is dear to your heart or that fuels your personal ambitions. So this is about, you know what, you've done a little bit too much, okay? You've overextended yourself in different areas perhaps and this is about retracting a little bit. It's about taking some time for yourself. But always being available for more when you're feeling stronger. This is about taking that time for yourself. So we're going to move on over to your final uh, message here. And your final message is the mermaid with a black sea serpent. And the mermaid with black sea serpent is all about cultivating your self-love. So um, you've spent too much time maybe seeking out approval, maybe even love from others. Maybe you cling to relationships. That's not all of you, but maybe some of you, you cling to relationships long after they've kind of lost their vitality and even their value to you. So this is about starting to cultivate your self-love and to rebuild your self-worth before, before you do proceed any further in your relationships or in your profession or just into your real life. Your inability to let go and to stand on your own can be detri well, detrimental to your personal growth. Take inventory of your strengths and your weaknesses. Learn to love and make use of your competences. And, you know... um. Improve your shortcomings. Speak to yourself as if you would be speaking to a beloved person around you. Um, not, you know, let's not be hypercritical. Let's not have that voice that, you know, is just too critical. This is about embracing yourself. It's a letting go of anyone and of anything that prevents you from standing onto your own two feet. This is about bringing that power to you. And this does conclude this reading with spirit i do hope that you enjoyed i do hope that spirit brought you some very interesting messages that you will be able to use if you have any questions and you would like to um, contact me please do so all my information is right below into the youtube description box if you have not yet subscribed please do click on to the subscribe button and um, i wish you a beautiful day i thank you for being there and i will see you tomorrow with new messages many blessings to you